Popular mechanical gauges and tools used on ships. Machinery on board ships require regular care and maintenance so that their working life and efficiency can be increased, and the cost of operation, which includes unnecessary breakdowns and spares can be reduced. For different types of machinery and systems, various measuring tools, instruments and gauges are used on a ship. In this video, I have compiled a list of mechanical measuring instruments and mechanical gauges which are extensively used on the ship for the recording of different parameters. Number 1. Ruler and Scales. They are used to measure lengths and other geometrical parameters. This tool is one of the most famous measuring instruments in mechanical engineering. They can be a single steel plate or a flexible tape type tool. They are usually available in the measuring scale of inch or cm. They are used for quick measurement of parts and always kept with other measuring gauge or tools in the workshop for handy access. The ruler and scales are not used where precise measurement is required. It is made from stainless steel which is durable and will not rust or corrode. 2. Calipers. They are usually of two types. Inside and outside caliper. They are used to measure internal and external size, for example, diameter, of an object. It requires an external scale to compare the measured value. This tool is used on those surfaces where a straight ruler scale cannot be used. After measuring the body or part, the opening of the caliper mouth is kept against the ruler to measure the length or diameter. Some calipers are integrated with a measuring scale. Hence there is no need of other measuring instruments to check the measured length. Other types are odd leg and divider caliper. 3. Vernier caliper. It is counted in the list of quality measuring instruments, which are used to measure small parameters with high accuracy. It has got two different jaws to measure outside and inside dimensions of an object. It can be a scale, dial or digital type vernier caliper. Vernier caliper is one of the most used mechanical measuring tools on board ship. 4. Micrometer. It is an excellent precision tool which is used to measure small parameters and is much more accurate than the vernier caliper. The micrometer size can vary from small to large. The large micrometer caliper is used to measure large outside diameter or distance. For example, Large micrometer is used as a special mechanical measuring tool for main engine to record the outer diameter of the piston rod. They are available in two types. Inside micrometer, to measure inside diameter, and outside micrometer, for measuring outside diameter. 5. Feeler gauge. Feeler's gauges are a bunch of fine thickened steel strips of different thickness bundled together. The thickness of each strip is marked on the surface of the strip. The feeler gauge is used to measure the clearance or gap width between surface and bearings. For example the feeler gauge is widely used to measure piston ring clearance, engine bearing cleaner, tappet clearance and etc. 6. Telescopic feeler gauge. Similar to the functionality of feeler gauge, this type of gauge is also known as tongue gauge, and it consists of long feeler gauge inside a cover with tongue or curved edge. The long feeler strips protrude out of the cover like a telescope so that it can be inserted into remote places where feeler gauge access is not possible. For example it is used to measure the bearing clearance of the top shell. It is essential that after the use of the telescope gauge, the strip should be cleaned and retracted back to its housing, else it may damage the feeler strip. 7. Poker Gauge. Poker Gauge is one unique tool among different types of measuring instruments is available in mechanical or digital form on ships. It is only used for one purpose, to measure propeller stern shaft clearance, also known as propeller wear down. It is a type of depth measuring instrument, whose reading indicates the wear down of the stern shaft. A special access point or plate is provided which can be either open, bolted, secured or welded, depending upon the ship design. The poker gauge is inserted to in this access point to measure the propeller drop. 
The poker gauge is a special instrument which is kept with the chief engineer, and the reading is usually taken every dry dock. 8. Bridge gauge. As the name suggests, bridge gauge looks like bridge carrying the measuring instrument at the center of the bridge. They are used to measure the amount of wear of main engine bearing. Typically the upper bearing keep is removed, and clearance is measured for the journal. A feeler gauge or depth gauge can be used to complete the process. 9. Liner Measurement Tool A liner measurement tool is a special tool for marine engines which comes in a set of the straight rod of different marked length, which can be assembled together to make the measuring tool of the required length. It is used to measure the wear down or increase the diameter of the engine line. It is considered as special tools when compared to other types of measuring tools and kept separately with other engine special tools under chief engineer or second engineer supervision. 10. American Wire Gauge American Wire Gauge or AWG is a standard tool which is circular and has various slots of different diameter in its circumference. It is used to measure the cross-section of an electric cable or wire. This tool is usually kept in the electrical workshop of the ship, and electrical officer uses it for measuring wire thickness. 11. Bore Gauge A tool to accurately measure the diameter of any hole is known as bore gauge, it can be a scale, dial or digital type instrument. The most common type which is used on the ship is dial type bore gauge, which comes with a dial gauge which is attached to the shaft and replacement rods, also known as measuring sleds, of different size to measure different hole dimensions. It is usually calibrated in 0.001 inch, 0.0025 centimeters, or 0.0001 inch, 0.0025 centimeters. 12. Depth Gauge a depth gauge is used to measure the depth of a slot, hole or any other surface of an object. It can be of scale, dial or digital type. The depth gauge can be a micrometer style type, a dial indicator type, or modified vernier type tool, which means the measuring base is fitted on the reading scale of a micrometer, dial indicator or the vernier scale. 13. Angle Plate or Tool as the name suggests, this is a tool comprising of two flat plates which are at a right angle to each other, and it is used to measure the exact right angle of an object or two objects joined together. This tool is usually kept in workshop away from any tools or chemical which may roughen the surface of the angle plate. 14. Flat Plate the flat plate or a surface plate is a precision flat surface used to measure the flatness of an object when it is kept over the flat plate acting as a reference. The flat plate is also kept in a workshop in a secure location, and a wooden piece is usually held on the top of the flat surface as the protective cover to safeguard the surface. Regular visual inspection and calibration need to be done to check for wear, scoring etc. on the surface. 15. Dial gauge. It is a conventional method to use soft lead wire or lead balls to measure the wear down or clearance between two mating surfaces. The lead wire or balls of fixed dimension, which is usually larger than the expected clearance, are kept between two surfaces, and both are tightened against each just as in normal condition. The change in the width of the lead wire or ball will show the clearance or wear down. 16. Oil gauging tapes. Also known as sounding tapes, these are special types of gauges only used to measure the level of the fluid, HFO, DO, lubes, water etc., inside the sheep or TMS tanks. The sounding tapes can be of a mechanical type where the tape is retracted in a coil and connected to a heavy bob at the end. The mechanical tapes are the most commonly used in all dry ships, however, in tankers' ships, they use electronic sounding gauges, electrically powered servo type gauges, ultrasonic type. 17. Seawater Hydrometer. A small glass instrument for measuring the density and saturation of the salt in the seawater. This is an essential tool for deck officers as the draft survey will be determined using the water density to calculate the cargo weight for loading. 
It is also used for ensuring compliance with the load line survey. 18. Crankshaft deflection gauge. A form of dial gauge specifically made to measure the crankshaft deflection of the marine engine. The working is similar as explained in the dial gauge. The only difference is the construction which let this tool hang between two webs allowing it to measure the deflection when the crankshaft rotates. 19. Engine Peak Indicator A measuring instrument for a marine engine with pressure indicator dial used to measure the peak pressure generated inside the engine cylinder. The pressure indicator dial is connected to the blowdown valve located on the top of the cylinder. There is a check valve provided before the indicator which when opens will the pressurize gases to continually flow inside the indicator till it reaches the maximum value in the dial. Once the pressure is measured, an exhaust valve provided on the side of the valve is opened which release the pressurized gas from the instrument. It is an oil-filled pressure gauge instrument which helps in resisting the vibration and also acts as good heat resistant. 20. Planimeter an instrument which is used to measure areas of irregularly shaped areas of an arbitrary two-dimensional shape on plans or drawings. These are some of the primary tools and gauges types that are used on board ship. If you feel we have missed any vital tool, then let us know in the comment section and we will add it to the list. This video do not necessarily reflect the views of Marine Insight. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.